All right, guys, let's take a look at a more complicated example at which we will discover the strength of the Queen Maklowski algorithm. So, just for those who did not watch the first video, I'm gonna go ahead and review the uh, Queen Maklowski algorithm in a flowchart figure. So, what we're gonna do is first we will do the prime implicant table. And at the prime implicant, we will check if there is a singular mark in the column. If yes, that means we will have an essential prime implicants. And we have to remove the row and the columns of the min term that are covered by them. If no, what we're going to do is we will are all min terms covered. If yes, then we will find we found all the prime implicants which cover our function. So we have to stop. Okay, if no, what we're going to do is we're going to go to step two. So are there dominating columns? If yes, then we will remove the dominated columns. Uh, and after that, we're going to go to the step three, which is are there dominated row? Remember, like dominating columns and dominated row. If we have a dominated row, we will remove those dominated row, if not cheaper. And at the end, we will remove redundant implicants to force a single mark in a column. So, to understand that, let's take a look at this more complicated example. As we can see, this function has five variables, and we can implore it by seeing that we have min terms more than what 15. Therefore, my table will be larger. So, what am I have to do first? I'm going to construct my table based on the group. Uh, uh, based on the group uh, of uh, of uh, of the number of ones in the binary notation of the min terms, and after that, what I have, I have to find all the adjacent pairs and group them together. Okay, this is at class one, and then I can do it. I take it a step further, and then I can group what I can group those who can be what like uh, like those who can be grouped in a group of four okay or more okay based on the number of uh, based on the adjacency or the uh, like united theorem okay now we will end up having this final table so what i have to do guys as we can see here we have no implicants of uh, a group one a b c can be combined with implicants of a group two so what i have i have all the implicants from a up to n as we can see that okay guys so what i have to do right now is you know like uh, for uh, like uh, for like this is what for group uh, one and the group two as we can see for a group three I have Q, P, and uh, O, P, and the Q. I can't what? I can't add them in a different class, okay? Or I, I can't like uh, use the United Theorem for uh, further simplification. So what I have to do, guys, now, I have to, you know, like list all of my min terms using what? The prime implicant table and what i'm gonna do is after like having all the min terms as we can see all the min terms that i got from a look at this a b c d e f g until what and look o p q are already included you see that so what i have to do right now is i have to uh, circle a single x in a column for each what for each implicant covered uh, for each uh, min terms covered by that prime uh, that that prime implicant so after i this i'm gonna add the star as we can see we added the star at those who correspond to the prime implicant okay and as we can see like this implicant okay uh, this min term can be only covered by implicant A star. Therefore, that means that A star is what a prime implicant. Then I have to what, guys? After this, 
what I have to do is to list my like essential prime implicant in another table. So what is my essential like or what is my essential prime implicant? So the essential prime implicant of F A B C D and E, as we can see, it is what guys? It is A star plus what else I have? B has only what? Has only one X in that column. So uh, it, because it's uh, like it's the only one which covers four therefore I'm gonna put B star and then I have C star then I have what J star am I done no I have to go further if, uh, like according to the flow chart so let's take a look what I'm gonna do so after this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore those implicant that i've already like uh, covered as well as a like i'm gonna uh, like um, remove the apis okay the then what i have to do is after i placed a check mark for each one that is covered by that uh, like uh, that by each main term covered by the EPR. So, for instance, for because I've selected one, or I've selected A, A will will cover what, guys? A will cover as we can see one and five. Therefore, I put star. Uh, I put like a, a uh, like a, a check mark at one and five. Okay, and so on. So what? Like in other words, what I have to do is I have to remove the APIs A, B, C, G, and what the checked columns of, fun of the functions of the main terms 1, 5, 8, 9, 13, up to 27, okay? So then I'm gonna end up with having the PI and the EPI table. After like removing this, I'm gonna end up having with a simplified one. Then I'm gonna add another what term called the cost at this time. So the cost will determine how many literals is inside that term. We use that function, uh, the uh, the function to calculate the cost based on the term itself. So it's gonna be based on what, how many literals you have. Okay. So after, like as you can see, what we have to do here, guys, we have to apply the dominated what. Uh, column dominate uh, dominating column dominated uh, row techniques so the two columns i and j of a prime implicant table which have check marks x okay in exactly the same row are said to be equal so if i have two columns and those columns they have x's at the same row, they're said to be what? Equal. A column I of a prime implicant table is said to dominate another column J of the same table if the column I has the check marks in all row in which J has the check marks. And in addition, I has at least one check mark in a row in which J does not have any check mark. So what we have to do is to find those columns that, okay, uh, that they are corresponding to the rows that they have more excess, okay? So the notation of dominating is, as we can see, I have I and J, okay, guys? So what does that mean? That means I have to take a look at this example and based on that example, I'm going to apply the dominated rows. And in the dominated rows that we I have K and L, okay, a row uh, like a K of a prime implicant table is said to dominate another row L of the same table if row k has check marks x okay so why did we say that 
P2 dominates what? P1. Why? Because P2 has more checks that covers what? Multiple min terms. Okay? So after, okay, let me give you like a, a, an illustration in our example. So we take a look at here. And as we can see, okay, like this is exactly what I said to you, like how, uh, like uh, the, how to define the dominated columns and the dominated row. And as we can see here in our example here, we do not have any dominated columns in this. We cannot dominate the columns. However, in here, I have a dominated row. How did I have a dominated row? As I can see here, the uh, the dominated like uh, like uh, k, like uh, the uh, k dominated f because k has two min terms and therefore i'm gonna what boom i'm gonna like exclude it and for j the same thing uh, so j dominate h therefore i'm gonna what i'm gonna remove it okay so after i remove those dominated uh, rows and columns what I have to do is find a simplified PI table okay and remove the dominated row F H and the Q okay at the same cost or cheaper okay so I, I removed all of them and when I take a look at why did I remove a Q because E uh, like uh, the uh, dominated E uh, dominate a Q and at the same time it has a cheaper cost because the number of min terms are what uh, in the uh, the number of uh, uh, of literal at that implicant is less than the number of literals at Q okay so after this what I have to do guys after I have this this table I will further apply what the like at this iteration I can find a dominated what uh, like a dominating column so how did I up, up, like find the dominating column let's right, take guys, a look let's at this look at this one more complicated is example at which dominating because it has only one star and this one is dominating and this one is dominating so, so just for those that who mean, did not watch that the first means video, the corresponding go row and those view. rows the uh, it's a secondary is a central prime implicant. So you remember so the list that we, we have in the previous we will do the prime implicant table. Okay. And so at the prime after I remove we will them check and the corresponding column, column in the column. Okay. If yes, that means I'm gonna we will up having this prime implicants. I'm gonna take and a look at the cost the row and I'm gonna take a look at the number of covered by them. The min terms covered by them. What we're gonna do is Okay, we will so are all I have terms to do covered. guys if yes, let's, let's then take we'll a look find, at we how I'm gonna further implicants look at this which so I have our function so we have to and stop. P. Okay. And if I don't what we're gonna to do is we're gonna o go to step two it's covered by so P. Are so I have removed their dominating now I have if yes and then we can remove the dominated uh, like and and uh, and and as we can that, see we're gonna go P what P are there uh, when we like uh, when Remember we see like dominated now has a the dominated row. column. If we have a dominated row, we will remove those. Therefore, therefore I'm gonna row, watch, I'm cheaper. gonna exclude and, and at the end so we will remove another abundant implicants to the conclusion that I would like to get a that. So it's essential prime implicant to from the first iteration understand was A that. star, B Let's star, take a look C star, at this and just more complicated okay. example. And the second As iteration, this what I has, what did I did? What did I did? And do? I we can found ignore it by the secondary is essential prime implicant more than what R E. Therefore, G my table and will be larger. On so what the am I have to do first? And I'm going to construct groups. my table based and on the group. What I found, I found based on the group. Uh, of is essential uh, of prime uh, uh, of the number of here, ones the, the uh, final star star of the term. terms and as we and can see after that what star, i have i have to find all terms. the adjacent okay. pairs and this is and the exactly group them together what? okay this is at f plus one minimal and then i can do f it min. i take it step further and then i can group what I can okay. group I hope those who can be what and this will like, uh, this second video. Like those who can be for you. 
a group I in a group you of like four, a, okay, or you know, more. Uh, okay, based, based on, on the number, minimizing of, uh, based on the adjacency like or the uh, like United theorem. Okay, um, now or a function with big. We will end up having number this of implicants. I want you to final table what, to minimize so what this I function. What I have to do, guys. As we can see here, knowing we that have it has a no don't care and the don't of, care terms uh, are group one treated like required min terms C when can finding be combined a P, uh, like with the implicants of so in group this, two. We will so use what the I don't have. Care I have all the implicants e, from e, A and treat it as a required and, okay, as we can see as required okay, min terms to so find. So what I have to do right e. now is what for group uh, one and the group two. As we can see for a group three. I have Q, P, and uh, O, P, and the Q. I can't what? I can't add them in a different class, okay? Or I, I can't like uh, use the United Theorem for uh, further simplification. So what I have to do, guys, now, I have to, you know, like list all of my min terms using what? The prime implicant table and what i'm gonna do is after like having all them in terms as we can see all them in terms that i got from a look at this a b c d e f g until what and look o p q are already included you see that so what i have to do right now is i have to uh circle a single x in a column for each what for each implicant covered, uh, for each uh, min terms covered by that prime, uh, that that prime implicant. So after I this, I'm gonna add the star. As we can see, we added the star at those who correspond to the prime implicant. Okay, and as we can see, like this implicant. Okay. Uh, this min term can be only covered by implicant A star. Therefore, that means that A star is what? A prime implicant. Then I have to what, guys? After this, what I have to do is to list my, like, is essentially a prime implicant in another table. So what is my, like, or what is my essential prime implicant? So the essential prime implicant of F, A, B, C, D, and E, as we can see, it is what, guys? It is A star plus what else I have? B has only what? Has only one X in that column. So uh, it, because it's uh, like it's the only one which covers four. Therefore, I'm going to put B star. And then I have c star then i have what j star am i done no i have to go further if, uh, like according to the flow chart so let's take a look what i'm gonna do so after this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ignore those implicant that i've already like uh, covered as well as a like i'm gonna uh, like um remove the APIs okay the then what I have to do is after I placed a check mark for each one that is covered by that uh, like uh, that by each main term covered by the EPR so for instance for well, because I've selected one or uh, I've selected a a will will cover what guys a will cover as we can see one and five therefore i put star uh, i put like a, a uh, like a, a check mark at one and five okay and so on so what like in other words what i have to do is i have to remove the apis a b c g and what the checked columns of of the functions of the main terms one five 8, 9, 13, up to 27, okay? So, then I'm going to end up with having the PI and the EPI table. After, like, removing this 
I'm going to end up having with a simplified one. Then I'm going to add another what term called the cost at this time. So the cost will determine how many literals is inside that term. We use that function, uh, the, uh, the function to calculate the cost based on the term itself. So it's going to be based on what, how many literals you have. Okay. So after, like, as you can see, what we have to do here, guys, we have to apply the dominated what uh, column, dominate, uh, dominating column, dominated uh, row techniques. So the two columns, I and J, of a prime implicant table, which have check marks X, okay, in exactly the same row are said to be equal. So if I have two columns and those columns, they have X's at the same row, they're said to be what? Equal. A column I of a prime implicant table is said to dominate another column J of the same table if the column I has the check marks in all row in which J has a check marks and in addition I has at least one check mark in a row in which J does not have any check marks so what we have to do is to find those column that okay uh, that they are corresponding to the rows that they have more X's okay so the notation of dominating is as we can see i have i and j okay guys so what does that mean that means i have to take a look at this example and based on that example i am gonna apply the dominated rows and in the dominated rows that we i have k and l okay a row uh, like a k of a prime implicant table is said to dominate another row l of the same table if row k has check marks x okay so why did we say that p2 dominates what p1 why because p2 has more checks that covers what multiple min terms okay so after okay let me give you like a, a an illustration in our example so we take a look at here and as we can see okay like this is exactly what i said to you like how uh, like uh, the how to define the dominated columns and the dominated row and as we can see here in our example here we do not have any dominating columns in this we cannot dominate the columns. However, in here, I have a dominated row. How did I have a dominated row? As I can see here, the uh, the dominated like uh, like uh, k, like uh, the uh, k dominated f because k has two min terms, and therefore I'm gonna what? Boom! I'm gonna like exclude it. And for j, the same thing. Uh, so j dominate h. Therefore, I'm gonna what? I'm gonna remove it. Okay. So after I remove those dominated uh, rows and columns, what I have to do is find a simplified PI table. Okay. And remove the dominated row F, H, and the Q. Okay. At the same cost or cheaper. Okay. So I, I removed all of them and when I take a look at why did I remove a Q because E uh, like uh, the uh, dominated E uh, dominate a Q and at the same time it has a cheaper cost because the number of min terms are what uh, in the at uh, the number of uh, uh, of literal at that implicant is less than the number of letters at Q okay so after this what I have to do guys after I have this this table 
I will further apply what the like at this iteration I can find a dominated what uh, like a dominating column so how did I up, up like find the dominating column let's take a look at this this one is dominating because it has only one star and this one is dominating and this one is dominating so what does that mean that means the corresponding row those rows are is a secondary is essential prime implicant so you remember the list that we have in the previous slides i'm gonna add this to them okay so after i remove them and their corresponding column okay i'm gonna end up having this small table i'm gonna take a look at the cost and i'm gonna take a look at the number of what the min terms covered by each implicant okay so what i have to do guys let's let's take a look at how i'm gonna further look at this so i have an o and p and i decided to exclude o because it's covered by p so i have removed it now i have an and uh, like n and p and as we can see p what p uh, when we like uh, when we see like p now has the dominated column at this stage at this iteration therefore i'm gonna what i'm gonna exclude n so in other words the conclusion that i would like to get that the essential prime implicant from the first iteration was a star b star c star and j star okay and the second iteration what i what did I do? What did I do? I found the secondary is essentially prime implicant, which are E, G, and K, based on the dominating columns and the dominated rows. And after that, what I found, I found the ternity is essential prime implicant, which is here the uh, P star star star. And as we can see, P star 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 has four literals, okay? And this is exactly our what F minimal F min. Okay, I hope it's clear for you guys. And this will conclude this second video. As homework for you, I want you like um, you know uh, instead of minimizing a, like a big. Um, or a function with big number of implicants I want you to what to minimize this function knowing that it has a don't care and the don't care terms are treated like required min terms when finding a P, uh, like uh, the prime implicants so in this we will use the don't care or D use D and treat it as a required okay as required min terms to find the prime implicant.